Oh yeah, I just finished listening to Igor again. It's a it's a really good album, guys. I, I advise you check it out if you check it out. Uh, but welcome back to The Guide World. Today should be a really fun episode and a bit of a learning episode for me and maybe hopefully also for you. Now, last episode we explored, found some amazing, amazing landscapes, and, and then we worked on this area a little bit more. This is the church and, and the graveyard, and it's coming along. I think it looks okay. Uh, I'm still accepting feedback on the steeple. I think it actually doesn't look all that bad from over here, though. Like, I don't know, maybe this one area needs to be thinned up. I, I'm not sure. Uh, the plan for today's episode, though, as you can see by the title poor man's gold farm that is exactly what we will be working on building in in this episode uh, i'd like to get enchanting very soon and you know we could do junk stone enchantments or or wood even but uh that's 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 too boring so uh we need our bed uh here it is and we will uh, go and get the materials that we need for this simple little gold farm. This is a gold farm that you can build super early on in your world. It's it's crazy easy to build, and it will get you experience and gold as well. So, first things first, we need snow. We need lots of snow for this. I'd like to collect up plenty of snowballs so we have enough to make a snowman back at our base for a snow farm, uh, and also enough snowballs to to use on what we're doing today. Something like this should be good. Now I have to go all the way back <laughs> to the base. So uh, let's get down this thing and all the way back over. Mm -hmm. Now we'll also need lots of wood, which I actually have uh, already for once. Um, so a couple stacks should be good. We'll need plenty of cobblestone to, to do some boxing off of areas. So that should be good. And we'll leave some of the snowballs back here. We don't need the bed either or the map. So we'll leave those in this world as well. Now I, I think that's really pretty much it. So it's time to go over to the nether. I should probably grab my bow just in case. You never know. Um, so bow and we'll leave the shears. Uh, flint and seal always and some arrows as well. Now let's go over to the nether. Uh, now, yes, yeah, so this farm is really a poor man's or a super simple gold farm. It's really nice, and, and it should work out well. I haven't built one of these in a while, so that's why I say it's a, a little bit of a learning experience for me as well. But uh, we should start by making a, a safer portal box. So, I don't know, we'll go maybe like, I, I guess this is fine, like four out. Uh, and then maybe we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, six or so out. It, it doesn't really matter. We're just trying to keep our portal safe, um, because this is, <laughs> this is not going to make the pigment happy. And w we need somewhere that is safe to, you know, to run back if things go wrong, which they very well could. Oh, no, like that. Um, you get out of here. Uh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw the gas tier burn up, but uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's nice. Uh, I, I Pretty pro, I know. Um, yep, but back to boxing this thing up. This needs to be safe so we can escape the nether if or, or when things go wrong, uh, which means we will need to, to place um, slabs on the inside of this box as well because pigmen can spawn everywhere. Now, uh, we will be coming back and making a much, much nicer nether hub, but... For now, I am making a gold farm. <laughs> gold farm before the nether hub. We'll come back and do um, the hub soon. But we've been doing a lot of building lately in the series. And I figured, you know, it's it's time to do uh, not building. You know, like, like we've got to switch it up. We've got to make some farms sometimes. All right, so the walls are up. I think we can leave this one open because there's just a lava pit down there. So that should be fine. Now we need a roof on our base. So let's say crafting table here and uh we could probably do this with slabs we'll do slabs on the floor and on the ceiling um it should work fine and then i'd like to place some slabs here uh so i don't fall off of this thing and uh, also so we don't get spawns on it uh, but all of this floor needs to be ripped up and spawn proofed now if you're newer to minecraft you may not know uh, but mobs cannot spawn on half slabs if you place slabs on the bottom half of a block like i'm doing here uh, nothing can spawn on it we can move around on it perfectly fine but 
pigmen? Uh, uh, that's a no. And skeletons and zombies and so on, if we were in the overworld, those are also a no. Mobs will move across slabs, but they will not spawn on slabs. So we can block spawns out by doing this, but uh, let's say you didn't have enough slabs, well, buttons would work fine too, uh, or pressure plates, um, or even torches on every single block, but... Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if I want to really do that. Uh, you can block pigmen spawns with torches, but uh, the lighting needs to be like 12 or higher, which is it's pretty crazy, so it's easier to just slab things over and say, uh, there you go. I guess on the ceiling we'll do um, the top half, uh, so I need to go out here and do uh, this. So There we go, and then there. That's going to be good. You know, I, I completely forgot one of the materials that you would need to, to have on hand. Um, the material is iron, not only for pickaxes, but also for a door. Uh, if you are protecting your, your portal like I am, uh, you will want a nice and strong door. Um, pigmen can break down wooden doors, but they cannot break down iron doors. So uh, this will be our door. We'll just have to be careful with the button and, you know, try and be quick if we're coming in and out through here, which... Hopefully we won't be. This is just to make sure the portal is safe, really. Uh, now we need to find the optimal area to build this gold farm. Uh, for gold farms like this one, we, we need a big, flat, open area where pigmen can spawn. Honestly, this area might might be perfect. Uh, we do have a lot of low areas where pigmen would spawn and kind of idle, but... There's a lot of flat areas in here as well, so if we were to encase the lava a little bit so it doesn't spill everywhere, that would give us a little bit more of uh, some spawn room, so we could do that with that, and we could we could even do it with this one. Why not? Um, let's see. How do we want to do this one? Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, you're on the ground, man. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, do we get a gas here this time? Uh, nope. Doesn't look like it. Uh, but we could do the same thing with that lava and this lava, like all of the lava. If we can kind of control this, we have more spawn areas, which is a good thing. One more. Uh, you don't absolutely have to do this, but I am trying to get uh, good spawns because ideally we'd like a more flat air. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, what have I done? Uh, ah, man. Um, <laughs> well, uh, that's a whoops. Um, all right, well, it's not the best, uh, but it's a lot darker. We have the lava blocked off there, lava there, there, and there. So uh, we're going to build our farm right here. I think this will be a, a perfect spot. Uh, now, this is a really rough one. Uh, it's nothing fancy, uh, but we need some trap doors right there. Pigmen will see this as an, uh, an open block, and they'll try and walk down, and they'll actually fall all the way down to wherever I make the floor, which will be a little lower than that. Then we'll have an area over here where we stand, and we'll access it by a ladder that I don't have. Uh, we'll climb up into it, and we'll stand in here, uh, throw a snowball at a pigman. They'll get mad. They'll run over. They'll fall like I just mentioned. Uh, so we just need to make sure we're safe on the back side of us and on the top of us we won't want ghasts um shooting in at us while we're in this thing that could be bad um because it'll just blow up all of the land around us it won't really mess us up because we'll have our cobblestone safety thing but uh, we need the land to be smooth so the pigmen will run right down in and again half slabs half slabs half slabs we we don't really want anything spawning on top of us either so if we place a bunch of half slabs on the front half we should be safe we need to also prevent baby zombie pigmen from getting in to us, so uh, even more slabs around there, that should be fine. We still want uh, like a way to to see pigmen out there, which might be the challenge. Hopefully we get like a lot out front. Um, I guess we'll see. <laughs> uh, now I need out of here, and I need ladders. We need to make a safe tunnel going from this farm thing uh, all the way over to our base, so... If we go straight down here, just a little bit of a ways, uh, we should be good. And then we can climb right up, uh, shoot at Pigman, and then go down to the killing area, uh, but the hallway. So, I don't know. How far do we want to drop these guys? Um, I mean, honestly, something like this should be fine. 
I, I think we'll go with this. We'll drop the pigment down to about this layer. We'll want more slabs everywhere, though. Uh, if pigments spawn on the inside of this farm uh, or this build, then we have a big problem. Uh, now, this hallway needs to connect all the way over to our hub, which is at 55-ish, uh, so not that far. All right, uh, let's give it a shot. We'll dig right up, and aha, perfect. Uh, this is what we want. Uh, are we here? Yes, we are. That's perfect. So now we can get over to the gold farm nice and safe without having to run out into the nether. You want a hallway like this so you have a safe exit uh, out of the nether. Because, I mean, I don't know about you, but I know about me. And I am not really all stacked up with armor. So um, we don't want to uh, risk uh, us getting hurt at all. Now, back over here, um, we need this cleared out and... Um, like a falling area over here so I can hit the pigment. Um, so I think I need to go two forwards, um, like this, and then I think this all needs to drop, like, open. Um, hmm. I could probably climb, uh, this way. This might be very dangerous. Um, I mean, we look to be fine. <laughs> um... Yeah, we're fine. Uh, okay, so this will be where they fall, and then we need uh, half slabs again because of the baby zombies in there. And it'll be kind of hard to see, so let's go ahead and do, I think, even more half slabs down here. So we can jump down, and then we can swing at everything that's in this box area. Uh, I think this gets filled back in, and I think technically this wall should too. So we have this weird little corner, but that should be fine. I should be able to hit everything from there, I think. Um, I think it's time to try it out. Uh, <laughs> all right, we'll close that, and, um, I think everything's in place, uh, so, there you go, um, come on, guys, come on over, <laughs> uh, -huh. um, yep, they're all pathfinding up there and falling, that's good, um, that's exactly what we want, so what if we go down here, will they still pathfind? I think they will. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> now, pigmen are really strong, so you want to stand back when you're using something like this. And uh, if you want to kill them in, like, one hit, you'd want to drop them way, way farther than I did. Like, like I didn't drop them very far at all. Um, but we are going to have an issue with the drops. You see, we can't really reach all of those. Um, hmm... Uh, this is really dangerous. <laughs> Don't do that, guys. Uh, that is very dangerous, but there we go. Uh, we'd want some hoppers in there. We should probably go get some hoppers. All right, so now that we know the design works, um, oh, yeah, we need to wait for these guys to cool it down. Um, <laughs> um, all right, let's go finish these guys off. Okay, so the thing works, but now we need to pretty it up and make it look a little nicer because we will be using this thing for a little while. Uh, so hoppers in the bottom. We'll try and funnel these guys down into a 2x2 a two two hole instead of a, uh, a fort. Well, hmm. That would require some adjustments. Um, do we have the iron? Ah, we have just enough. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I have an idea. There isn't really a reason for this thing to be three wide. We'll do a one wide entrance and we'll have our pigmen run straight in and then fall right down into our trap. That means our trap can be too wide and our killing chamber can be too wide, which is amazing. That is way, way, way more compact than what we had before, uh, which is good because then we don't have to move around as much and we don't have to use as many hoppers either, which is something that I, I absolutely like. Now, I can hear a lot of angry pigmen up there. I, I have a feeling they're not liking what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I think that is, I guess it's just a hunch. But let's use granite in here. I actually like granite as, as a building block. Diorite's the bad one. Granite's not bad. Um, so here we go. We'll fill this all in, I think. Um, that'll match the nether theme. It's not the prettiest thing, but uh, again, the nether theme. So uh, pigmen will fall there. Then we need hoppers and a collection chest, of course. So uh, we need lots of wood. So collection chest there, um, like that, and then 
uh, the hoppers go behind it. So there and there. Uh, no, no, no. There and there. That's that's more like it. Uh, the behind the hoppers, we'll fill in uh, granite everywhere so everything looks nice. And uh, that's a, a, a little better. Uh, but now we need this area in here to be uh, more open, I think, because it's so, so small and cramped. Uh, I'd also like to do granite on the front to keep everything consistent. So we'll do granite and then a granite slab. So let's see, how could we do this? Let's do maybe this polished stone all the way around. Hmm, well, I don't know. Hmm, <laughs> maybe we could take the polished stone and pop it in, right? All the way around the edge of the room. Um, then we could do, uh, do we really want to do granite flooring? We could actually do slabs, I think. I don't think it would burn down here. Should be safe. Let's try it. I, I don't know if I'm going to like it. <laughs> uh, but we, we'll try and, and, and do some spruce flooring in here. That, it might look kind of nice. I, I don't know. Uh, it's just a simple gold farm anyways. So uh, we'll, we'll just do this. I, I might end up blocking this thing off eventually like and, and just getting rid of it. But for now, I think this will be cool. So let's go ahead and, and open this up. I have quite the crowd over there. Um, welcome, guys. You're, you're welcome in here. Uh, oh, that's dangerous. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like how they're walking up there. Um, that's a little freaky. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to do this and that. Uh, there we go. So <laughs> uh, they'll be funneled in um, this way. No, no falling. You don't go up there. Yep, walk right down in there. And then we can go down here and... I would do this. Uh, that is perfect. Now, once we get enchantments, uh, things will die off a little faster as well. And we are uh, now stacked with gold. Uh, or we will be. <laughs> That's really cool. You see, gold farms like this are actually really easy to set up. You just kind of have to know what you're doing. And if you build it in the right spot, it's not that bad. Uh, like, again, we would want to build this somewhere else, ideally. Uh, can you stop jumping? Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, but yeah, ideally we'd want to build this in a more open area, but as you can see, this isn't really all that bad at all, uh, building it in here. So, I mean, I'd say uh, this mission was a little bit of a success, but the netherrack still has to go. So, I, I don't get me wrong, I like I mentioned, I like the granite, but all granite walls, I don't know if I'll like that. So, let's just go ahead and do a stripe of granite all the way around the room, and that'll be good with the granite. We need light in here, too, and that means it's time for some lanterns. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll go all out on this build <laughs> and place some lanterns. So maybe there and there. That should be good. Uh, now we're nice and bright down here, which is cool. And the nether is going to be insanely dangerous now. Uh, if we go over here um, and open up the door, we may encounter some angry... Um, yep, you see he's angry at me. So uh, we're, we're just going to have to be careful. Um, <laughs> probably should have built it a little farther from home, um, but I guess it's too late now, right? Like, it's built. The job has been done. Okay, with the gold farm done, before we leave the nether, I'd like to mention one more thing, or show what I'm doing. So, I have a double chest in the hub room now. Um, not much of a hub, but a double chest. And in that chest, I have my flint and steel, a bow, and the snowballs. So, I'm going to leave the snowballs here because, of course, I need them in the nether. The bow is probably best left here as well, but I will bring the arrows back over to the overworld. Uh, finally, the flint and steel, and that is the big thing. You should always, always, always leave a flint and steel in the nether. I, I, I've been pretty <laughs> obsessive uh, about talking about bringing one to the nether, but um, it's even better to just leave one there. So, uh, uh, you should form the habit and, and, and do it always. It's, it's a good idea. Now, in, in the remainder of the episode, I think it's time to set up a small little crop farm. Like, nothing huge um, uh, to sort of fill in this area. Because with the trees, how they were, it, it was kind of underdeveloped. I think we could do a road cutting off of this one, going just straight over this way and down the hill. So a pretty direct, um, like, walking route. And then on this side of, you know, the road, like, that I'll put in, uh, we'll do, I think, a potato farm. Uh, but I'd like to show one thing really quick, and the thing is all the way down here. I have indeed done some digging, uh, just a little, like 
Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> um, so I'm looking for cave systems. The cave system that we found uh, in the, the Q&A episode is over here. And then um, I found one way, way, way down there. So I'm planning on caving in that thing in between episodes. And if I find anything good um, or, or cool, I'll show you in the beginning of the next episode. And... And yeah, um, so that's what's going on down there. I wanted to talk about that a little bit. I didn't just set up the mining hub and then and then not use it. Um, I, I promise. So <laughs> uh, that's that. And I found no diamonds in that whole long tunnel. I did find some redstone and coal, but uh, no diamonds. Uh, but anyways, the road. So uh, the road will be the same as this one. Um, and uh, yep. So this should all be pretty straightforward. Um, we're, we're just putting in, you know, um, a, a little field. We'll need water every so often and uh, then plenty of crops. I think we'll fill this whole field with potatoes. Uh, usually I would say, you know, create a variation or, or something like that. But uh, right now at this point in the world, uh, I'd like to, you know, kind of get stocked up on potatoes because in my eyes, they're a little more useful than carrots. You can cook up potatoes and get... Uh, the baked potatoes and those ones are actually a good food source. So potatoes only, water a little bit of everywhere, and then crops come in. I have about a, a stack of potatoes right now, so not the best, but also not the worst. All right, so let's see how much of this field I can fill. Probably not all of it at all. Um, <laughs> no, there's no way, uh, but I could probably be able to fill like half of it. It's not that big, right? Like... That's just a small field. Um, I guess we'll see. All right. Uh, yep. Like like half of it or so. Uh, now, finally, we need some fences in here to to kind of guide the path away from the field. I always feel like you can use fences to really keep your path moving and to also create nice borders. So I think on the river or ocean side, we'll we'll want some fences as well to to hold this kind of field in a little bit. If that makes sense, I. I I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, it's, it's what I'm trying to do. So if we just go a little crazy with the fences, not too crazy, but, but a little crazy, I, I think we'll get a good look in, in here. We just have to get them, you know, kind of facing the right way. So something like that. Um, let's see, maybe some more there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I think that's good. That should be perfect. Um, yeah, no, it's just time for me to wait for the crops to actually grow up and, you know, um, uh, then I'll spread them. So, cool. I'm happy with that. That's good. And I think that is where we end today's episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you can maybe use the gold farm. Remember, be careful. It's, it's not the best thing. And I've been absolutely loving what I'm seeing on the subreddit as well. So, I uh, feel more than welcome to share your world over there. Um, or whatever you're doing. Your memes or, or whatever. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is Waddles. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>